show you how to use TensorBoard using VS Code both in the local host and also from the VS Code software using the TensorBoard extension which we can form the next extensions here we need to install it that's it so first let's uh, run the code this code is actually based on the tutorial of tensorboard in pytorch tutorial section so it uh, downloads the fashion amnis data for this demonstrating the tensor util utilization of tensorboard so i won't go to the details of the code since you can find it from the tutorial in the pytorch website so i will show you how to um, use it in VS Code and the utilization of TensorBoard how to manage these things. For this you have to install these um, uh, modules here. So I have already installed it so I want to install it again. So let's run the code first. Here you can see. Now the data folder has, has been created where the data set from fashion amnis is being downloaded so we can see the four images here now we have to run this code for v uh, seeing the tensor board we have to open the terminal and over there we need to run this command As you can see uh, there is a box here we have to copy it and we have to paste it in the Google Chrome uh, I won't I will recommend using Google Chrome because in Safari in MacBook it there's problem for uh, the utilization of the projector tab so let's proceed further so as you can see the tensor board uh, has been in the local host now we have to run this cell no no this so it will take a little bit time since it's training the code let's wait for a minute batches it's uh, training it's the uh, training data set that training has been finished now if we go to the tensor board if we load it we can see the uh, visualization of training and validation loss over there now if we run this set of code it will create a graph over there if we go again and reload this we will see the graph here if we double click it we will see how the compilation maximum layer occurred now you want to create a projection 3d projection so it's in one now if we go to here and create this now it shows there is a problem so what's how to fix it now if we this if we go again and create a new terminal and if we go back again in the code if we run this cell 
type in. Let's see if it works. No, I think I copied it. And let's go to input here. And CP. Hopefully, and now it's working. Um, we have to uh, again uh, run that command for the projection set. If we deem it, it will be like this. If we want to make a color, label on color. Then, as you can see, the there are colors over there. So it's based on the local host. Now, for the VS codes inside, we have to. Since I'm using Mac, so in Windows, you have to write Shift P, Command Shift P, uh, Control. For Mac, is Command Shift P to make this uh, command palette. Then I have to click on this Launch TensorBot, which I have already installed in my extension. So if I click on it, using this current directory, because I am using this directory, so click it now as you can see it's already been in the VS code now here I can see everything the regression training loss I can also see the graphs and I can also see the projectors as you can see it's all already be visible uh, visible here so here I can make in uh, changes now also if I do, do it it will be like this I will click it will see the nearest points of the space so this is the way you can utilize tensor boards using VS codes inside of the VS code using the VS code extension for tensor board or also in the local host like uh, that command which I have shown you